The environmental impact of a train derailment is a concern, especially to those who live near the tracks. WCCO's Muriel Moe spoke to an expert who explains what we should and should not worry about. It is concerning. There, there's no doubt about it. And trains are carrying some highly toxic materials. Uh, fortunately, in this case, they're not that toxic. Professor Carl Rosen heads the Department of Soil, Water and Climate at the U of M. He says we should consider ourselves lucky that ethanol and corn syrup are what spilled out. These two compounds are compounds that we actually consume in some to some degree. BNSF, the company that operates this train, says they plan to burn off the ethanol. Rosen says the soil will take care of the corn syrup. The microbes will use it as a food source and break it down. In Minnesota, there are 19 freight railroads making up nearly 4,400 miles of track through farmland, along roadways, and in many of our neighborhoods. The most common materials they carry are metallic ores for steel, farm products, food products, and chemicals. According to the U.S. Department of Transportation, there's been 60 train derailments in Minnesota since 2018, and that's added up to a total of nearly $11 million in damages. The train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio, shed a spotlight on the widespread harmful impact of these incidents. But Rosen says ethanol and corn syrup are not comparable to the toxins that spilled out there. However, he is concerned about how much material spilled in Raymond. Anything in, the, in high quantity is going to cause a problem. Mary Elmos, WCCO News.